Federal Chief Summers. White House says not so fast vertical line box business. Skip to main content. Latino slash SBC slash box business home slash slide show slash interactive. Fox News slash SBC slash Latino slash box business skip to main content. Fox News slash box business article page. Fox News slash SBC slash Latino slash box business. Fox News Digital Network. Fox News. Fox Business. You report Fox News Radio. Fox News Latino. Fox Nation. Fox News Insider. Login. Account. You're logged in as profile. Log out. Search site. Home. Video. News investing. Technology. Personal finance. Business leaders on air. Small business. C-level events. Conference room. Federal Chief Summers. White House says not so fast. By Matt Egan published September 13, 2013 Fox Business. Reuters. It's no secret Larry Summers is a frontrunner to become the next federal chief, but the White House denied a report on Friday that suggested the brilliant economist should already be ordering new business cards. No decisions have been made on a federal appointment, the senior administration official told Fox Business. The comments come in response to a story in Japanese news agency Nikkei, which reported President Obama is going to name Summers as Ben Bernanke's replacement at the Federal Reserve. The report, which cited unnamed sources, said the White House is expected to unveil the move as early as next week. Obama is also set to name Dale Brainard, who currently serves as Treasury Undersecretary, as the Fed's new vice chairman, Nikkei reported. It remains unclear whether Summers who previously served as a top economic advisor to Obama, has enough support in Congress to be confirmed as federal chief. Our friends at Nikkei apparently have overlooked the enormous challenges to his nomination that would arise in the Senate, Greg Vorlier, chief political strategist at Potomac Research Group, wrote in a note to clients on Friday. Summers has been criticized for his close ties to Wall Street, efforts to deregulate banks and comments he said about women while he was president of Harvard. Others question whether Summers has the right temperament for the consensus-building job of Fed chief. With those concerns in mind, more than 400 U.S. economists have signed an open letter urging Obama pick Janet Yellen, the current federal vice chair, instead of Summers. In an apparent effort to draw a contrast with Summers, the letter credits Yellen for her willingness to hear multiple points of view and to bring many voices into the policy-making arena and also notes she is not beholden to a single interest group nor to a single industry. The endorsement was signed by a number of high-profile economists, including Nobel Prize winner Joseph Stiglitz of Columbia University, Christine Romer, the former chair of the Council of Economic Advisors in the Obama administration, and former federal vice chairman Alan Blinder, now at Princeton University. It's also not clear how the White House's recent struggles to get support for military action in Syria may impact the race to succeed Bernanke. Obama may decide he does not have enough political capital to risk a fight over summers on top of looming battles on the budget and debt ceiling. Investors hoping the Fed's easy money policies will continue are probably hoping summers does not get the nomination as he is seen as less dovish than Yellen, who has consistently supported Bernanke's policies. Fox Business reporter Peter Barnes contributed to this report. Follow Matt Egan on Twitter at MattMegan5. Print. Email. Share. Comments. Recommend. Tweet. Related stories. Twitter files for IPO. Obama picks the ants as top economic advisor. Share this article. View article. Please enable JavaScript to view the comments powered by Discuse. You must log in to comment. View article. Follow Fox Business. Get our free newsletter. Newsletter sign up. Advertisement. More stories. Source. JetBlue delay sparked by Verizon glitch. Vornado chairman quits J.C. Penney board. Week ahead, the central bank's big decision. C-suites struggle in emerging markets. City hit with system issues. J.P. Morgan beefs at controls. Safeway shares pop after Credit Suisse upgrade. Deja vu. Deep divides delay deal in Congress. Consumer sentiment falls to five-month low in August. CA lawmakers pass bill to increase state's minimum wage to $10 an hour. Boeing's stretched out 787 to 9 May flight next week. White House shoots down summer's report. Retail sales up less than expected.